Life in the freezer has always been perilous, but climate change is a new threat for the animals of Antarctica. Some Adelie penguin populations have halved as temperatures rise. Their future is uncertain. We drove up onto the melting ice in an aging snow cat. So this vehicle has its Mike Bryan runs Rothera, British Antarctic Survey's biggest research base. Scientists have been monitoring the area for several decades. As I've looked at the, the coastline to the left and to the right of here, um, and that's a very clear picture that that coastline, that ice coast, is melting back on an annual basis. And to the right of us, there are areas where it's melted by more than a kilometre in the last 30 years. To the left of us, there are places where it's been double that um, in those years. Antarctica's ice sheet is up to three miles deep and so immense that it contains more than two-thirds of all the fresh water on the planet. The frozen continent has been slow to respond to global warming, but now it's catching up. Antarctica has lost three trillion tons of ice over the last 25 years. Half of that has been in the last five, but it's what could happen next that really alarms scientists. About four seasons worth. But I've Joanne Johnson is just back from Thwaites Glacier, an expanse of ice the size of Britain that many fear is about to undergo a catastrophic melt. I've been coming here since 2002, um, quite a long time. The whole of the West Antarctic ice shelf could follow a region so vast that it would add more than three metres to global sea levels. From her remote camp, she could see the ice beginning to crumble. It looks to me really unstable and there was a massive crack um, not that far from the ice shelf front and that looks like it's just about to carve off and it's a huge part of the glacier and to see that in front of me really made me think gosh you know this is happening and I think that I've never really quite appreciated that in the same way before. Scientists don't know what impact the changing climate will have on Antarctica's marine mammals, from elephant seals to whales. They're part of a food chain that ultimately depends on shrimp-like krill, but the tiny creatures need ice to survive, and they're having to migrate ever further towards the pole to find it. If their food supply um, moves the way, then they will follow that food supply. Yeah, and if their food supply relies on krill, and that krill disappears. So that's why it's really important to understand those links through the food chain, through the ecosystem, who eats who, um, how much they rely on that, so that then we can start to predict the impacts on species like this. So much of the concern about global warming has been about ice melt on Greenland, but Antarctica is a far bigger threat that scientists are only just beginning to understand. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Rothera, Antarctica.